To Health Matters, long-serving Acting Director General for Health, Dr. Patrick Amoth, was early today vetted by a joint committee of health, hoping to fill the position after acting for more than five years. Amoth told the committee he would strengthen Kenya's health system should he be appointed the next health DG. His nomination has been challenged by Dr. Wahome Ngare, who told the committee that the appointment would be a national security risk due to what she termed lack of courage and independence to protect Kenya's interests against the influence of international bodies like the World Health Organization, where he served at various capacities. Here is part of that interview. There is nowhere chairman and honorable members in the 75 years of existence of WHO where it has imposed its will on a particular member state. The sovereignty of the member states is paramount. It is actually the reverse. The WHO will come up with a proposal and if there's an interested party that has watered down a proposal from the member states, the member states will be able to shoot that proposal and it will never be adapted. Member states are at liberty to implement. It is not obligatory for member states to take the advisory of WHO. Actually, WHO guidelines, strategies, guidelines are advisory in nature. They are not binding. And member states are at liberty to contextualize what they can be able to afford in terms of the fiscal space, in terms of the HRH framework, in terms of the health ecosystem to see what they can be able to utilize. The county government of Nakuru has suffered yet another blow after a 